I'm about to take you guys to one of my favorite thrift stores. Pretty common if you're a thrifter, but yeah, we'll see. So we out. Let's go. Love your body when you're whining for me. Just take time and I make it. Take time and I make it. And I wanna shine at you when you pull up on me. What's up, everybody? It is Sydney D. I'm back with another video. Um, today, I'm taking you guys with me to... Round of applause. Brooklyn! We in a BK today. I'm about to be vlogging with y'all. And yeah, I haven't been back to Brooklyn in so long. Fun fact, um, I just moved from Brooklyn this summer. I spent two summers in Brooklyn, so... Yeah, I haven't been back for a long time. I'm also linking with my boy Ishmael. He's a photographer and he has a podcast. So we're going to talk some business. I'm going to try to do some thrifting because fun fact, Sydney D does not shop hardly ever. I don't shop in the stores. I don't really shop online. Like whenever I need something to the thrift stores, I go. Okay, so I'm about to take you guys to one of my favorite thrift stores pretty common if you're a thrifter but yeah we'll see so we out let's go here what's up everybody so right now we are in williamsburg one of the nicest parts of brooklyn going to my favorite thrift store this background is fire sheesh yeah so we're about to go to my favorite thrift store right now. There's a bunch of other thrift stores next to it. And um, yeah, we're about to go check it out. the entrance to this shit but anyways i'm gonna go check out one more that i love y'all saw that i found some dope shit in a thrift store you could find literally anything you're looking for from sweats to hoodies to t-shirts to army fatigue to denim to like silk shirts like literally you're gonna find whatever you need in a thrift store and even though it's used that just makes it even more vintage to me so it's lit. It's one of my favorite things to do. It requires you to actually look. It requires a little bit of effort because there's just so much clothes. <laughs> but um, it's cool. It's therapeutic for me. So we're about to check out this next one. Okay. Thank you. All right, folks. They did not let me record in that one, but um, they had a lot more name brand things in there, which is fire. You'll find a lot of name brand shit thrifting for the low low. So, yeah, I was able to get a vintage Ralph Lauren rugby, 
and some Levi vintage denim. So yeah, what you gotta do when you thrift is put these bad boys in the wash and it's litty. But make sure you put them on you. Now, we'll link them up um, Ishmael. We're gonna just talk some business. So yeah, I'm gonna head over there. He should be like 15 minutes away, but I think we did good today, kids. You feel me? We got two bags worth of some clothes. I needed new clothes so bad. Just like sweaters, crew necks. So this is very productive. All right, let's go see how close Ishmael is. See y'all at the next spot. Are you ready? Yo! I'm outside. I'm with my boy Ish, fire What's photographer. Up, he about to take some pictures of me because he's a photographer. Check him out. You feel me? I'm checking y'all out. I'm gonna drop your handle down below so everybody could check you out. You see the hat? You feel me? <laughs> All right, so we about to take some pictures real quick, and then we about to uh, talk some business. Let's do that. All right. So what were you saying about what are your goals for this year, like? With your podcast or with shooting, what are you trying to focus on this year? So, okay, so if I go on a rant, stop. Because mm -hmm. I go on rants, but for that particularly, for my podcast specifically, I want it's a conversation, right? It's called your mental health matters conversation, and like the reason why I wanted to start it was that space to just you know be able to just talk about shit, shit that people don't know that you can just talk about, and then there could be headway if you talk about it, because I'm a person that used to keep a lot of things in. Mm -hmm. But with your mental health, I want to do more now. Like instead of just, one-on-one -on -one is still going to keep going. Mm -hmm. But now I want to do workshops. Bye. Like I want more, more experiences in the room that we're able to share mm -hmm. that space and be able to like talk about, because we're all just going through, I say it all the time. And the fact that I've been doing this now for going on two years, in this sense is holding more true to me. Mm -hmm. And we're all going through. Okay. Real life. Life be life in for everybody. <laughs> so yeah. Well, that's the goal for this year. Continue what I'm doing and add that to it as well. The mental health. Workshops. The workshops. Yeah. And my goal is three this year. To, to do three. You know I'm right up in there. I'm, it's going to be, I'm going to do it like the invites, like pull up. I am not an influencer yet, but I feel like I'm a regular girl who's been through shit yeah. just like every other yeah. girl a lot um a lot of the time so i feel like i have things to say i yeah. feel like i have experiences that have changed my life yeah. and taught me a lot i know what it's like to be a lot of ways and yeah. go through a lot of things and i kind of just i'm waiting for a platform to speak you know i don't have a twitter you don't have a twitter no because i just feel like anything i'm gonna say now nobody's gonna really hear you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So I'm very selfish with my inner thoughts on things, What's my perspective, my opinions. Like, yeah. I just feel like now is not the time to put them out into the world yet. Yeah. I want to wait till I'm on a certain platform mm -hmm. where I'm going to really reach people and people yeah. are going to really listen to me. So that's kind of why I'm on YouTube, you know, so yeah. that I can like start documenting my thoughts and my feelings, my experiences, my day to day stuff with my people, you yeah. know, like so that people could get to know me. Yeah. But the thing, the thing that you're doing with mental health and the podcast and the workshops, that's just my lane. Like, I just love to be a part of that. The fact that you even asked me if I was okay the other day, yeah, you don't even know, just the fact that someone cares yeah. to be like, do you want to talk about it? It's right. like, yeah, actually, yeah, I do want to talk about yeah. it. I have nobody else <laughs> to talk about this with. That's what I felt. And it just all came out. Yeah, I felt like energy. And I was like. It I, just all fucking came yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah, and the fact that you even asked that just made such a difference in the weight that I was carrying that day, you know. Yeah. And then your feedback, every freaking point, just helped me, and I could have yeah. went on a whole conversation with you just off those topics, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah. So that's why your podcast is lit. Thank you. Thank Workshops you. is gonna be lit. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Yes. Honey, you, know I mean? you already know I had to get issues merch because what? And it's purple, bro. Yeah, we got it. My favorite color. Look. Let me see the front. Let me. Bugging out. What we got? What we got? Patience, prayer, strategy. Everything starts with these thoughts. That's fire. And let's get this sweats. Yeah. 
Don't forget the sweats. <laughs> Yo, it's really Christmas. Thank you so much. Thank you. Whew. Make sure y'all get y'all merch. This is to greatness, you know? I feel like this year you should listen to your truth and you should not be scared of your greatness. So just to being great this year. Jeez. Cheers. Oh, 2022. You feel me? Yeah. Thanks.